Welcome to section 13.5, Parametric Equations for Moving Objects. At the end of this section, we should be able to answer these questions. When is it advantageous to use parametric equations to model moving objects? How do we model linear motion with parametric equations? How do we model projectile motion with parametric equations? How do we model rotational or repetitive motion with parametric equations? How do we combine multiple types of motion with parametric equations? Let's look at an example involving linear motion first. A ship moves with an eastward velocity of 21 kilometers per hour and a northward velocity of 13 kilometers per hour. At time t equals zero hours, the ship is at the point p0, negative 43, comma, 19, where the distances are in kilometers from a lighthouse. We want to find parametric equations for the ship's path using t hours as the parameter. Now, the reason this problem lends itself to parametric equations is the fact that we have motion in two dimensions. The ship is moving both north-south and east-west. And we want to be able to describe both of those independent motions with equations and combine them to get a single unified motion. So what we're going to do is describe what's going on here. Here we have the situation. We have our ship and it's located at negative 4319. So let's say that's approximately, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, so right about here. And what's going on with this ship is that it's moving with an eastward velocity, which means in this direction, and a northward velocity in this direction. So we want to describe each of those situations independently. So we're going to need information in terms of x and in terms of y. So for parametric equations, what we want to start with is the idea that we are starting at some location. And so when t equals 0, our parameter, we want to make sure that our x and y coordinates are the appropriate coordinates. So we start with that information. We are at negative 43 for x and 19 for y. To find the rest of the equation, we use the relationship that distance equals rate times time. Time is going to be changing, so we just need to figure out what our rate is. And it's given to us for each of these two. So at time t equals zero, we are proceeding with 21 kilometers per hour eastward. That's our x information. So we're going to add that rate times time. And we're going to do the same thing for our y values. And we have our parametric equations. So we want to make sure that this is working correctly. If that's true, then after one second, when t equals 1, we should be at x equals negative 43 plus 21 and y equals 19 plus 13, or 32 and negative 22. So we should be closer to the x-axis and further up, roughly. So we should be moving in a linear fashion with a positive slope. So let's see how that would work in a calculator. Well, what we would do is we need to be in parametric mode, so first we check our mode, and we're in parametric mode. If we go to y equals, we want to put those two equations in, which I already have, negative 43 plus 21t and 19 plus 13t. And then just for fun, I went over here and I put the little football attached. Let's see if we cycle through that and come back to it. I'm going to set my window so that I should be able to see the motion. So what I did is I've said, well, let's look at about four seconds worth of information. And I know I started at negative 43, so for my x, so I made my x min negative 50. And I went out to 50 
for the y values. With a positive slope, I'm going to be staying above the x-axis, so I mean my y minimum negative 5 and my y max 100. So now if I graph, I can see this linear motion and the positive slope. Let's trace at t equals 1. And we can see that I did end up at negative 22, 32. So it seems to be working. All right, the next question is to predict the time when the ship will be 60 kilometers north of the lighthouse. How far east or west of the lighthouse will it be at this time? Well, to find out when it will be 60 kilometers north, that's a vertical on our graph or a y value. So I'm going to take my y equation and set it equal to 60 to, and figure out that time. So 19 plus 13t equals 60, 13t equals 41, and t equals 41 over 13 seconds. So now I know when I'm going to be 60 kilometers north. And to figure out where we'll be east or west, I need to use that time and plug it back in to my x piece of my parametric equations. So x is going to be negative 43 plus 21 times 41 thirteenths, the value I got from y. If we use our calculators, we'll see that our answer should be 23.23 kilometers at 3.153 hours.